Hello and welcome to today's LYPP Online Youth Club. Today, Ashley's back! She's bringing us today's video and not only is she going to be telling us how we can get involved in this year's virtual marches, but stick around till the end because she's going to be telling you how you can potentially have a lasting presence at future marches events. So check it out. Hi guys, Ashley here. It has been such a long time since I have done one of these LYPP online videos and I'm really excited because I have been waiting for this forever. Because I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you guys aren't being told the truth. And in fact, as one of our very own youth workers at LYPP that has spread these untruths. I'm not going to name and shame anybody. <coughs> ben O'Neill. <coughs> Um, but you might remember in the little video posted on the 9th of December 2020, somebody said this. Because it is the home of one of the best days, no, the best day of the year, the Bonus Fair Day. And of course we know that's not true. We know the best day of the year, without question, is... The Let's Go Marching! Did you get that? I said the marches. Okay, so for me, the marches is the best day of the year. It is better than my birthday. It is better than Christmas. It is better than the day I find out I've actually got Coca Pops in the house for breakfast. It is the best day of the year. So hopefully you guys like the marches too. You might like it just because you get a day off school which is pretty cool. You might like it because you get to go and hang out with your friends or come down to LYPP and hang out with us there. Or even going to the shows along at Tesco's. The marches mean so many different things for so many different people. For me, one of the reasons that I love it is because I get to celebrate the town that I love and our traditions. Because you may not know that the marches is hundreds of years old. It all started out with the tradition of making sure that the king's land, the royal borough, was still intact. So once a year, they would send people to ride and check the boundaries. That's why we called it the riding of the Lithgow marches. And that's what still happens in theory today, is every time you see a procession go past, that's people going to check the boundaries. And it all starts at five o'clock in the morning. The one day of the year you will wake me up that early. And I don't care because I love it. So it starts at five o'clock in the morning and we walk from the West Port all the way around the town. And then again with the processions, that's what's happening. We go from the low port beside Tesco's and the procession and all the floats and everyone waving and having a good time, they walk all the way to check the boundaries at Lunthco Bridge where there are speeches and people declaring that that area of the town is safe. And then they walk all the way back, that's the second procession, and then they're going all the way this way down to Blackness to make sure that the old port is safe. And there's a whole big ceremony that happens there and there are speeches and it's great. And then they come back and then they present themselves round the cross one more time at the end and on the steps of the borough halls they declare all is safe out and all is safe in. And another thing that I totally love about the marches is how happy it makes the people of Linlithgow and how we all come together to celebrate this one day, this old tradition that we all have. No matter how we celebrate it, people come together and they get involved whether that be in the procession or waving at the sides and cheering everyone on. The decision has been made this year that once again, the marches for everyone's safety is going to have to be virtual. But it doesn't mean that people cannot get involved. There are loads of ways online that you can get involved. There is a competition this year being held to design a shield. So in the past, you may have seen these shields that have been on the borough halls. These were actually designed by students at the academy in 1989. Well, now there is a competition being held to create a new design that will be up with them for years to come, all to symbolise the virtual marches that we've had and everything that we've been through over the last couple of years. 
And how amazing would it be if it was one of you guys that designed that shield? So if you want to design a shield, send it to us and we will put it in for the Deacon's Court competition. Although there is a deadline for this, so we need your entries by next Tuesday, Tuesday the 1st of June. To get involved is to actually watch the virtual marches. There will be videos going out the week before the marches telling you all about the history and stuff, if you like that side of it. Or there will be videos going out all throughout the day off the marches itself from 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed my whistle stop tour of the Lifton marches. And whatever you do on the day to celebrate, I hope you stay safe. I hope you have a great time and you really enjoy yourself because after all, that's what it is all about. I'll speak to you later and long live the marches. Bye!